I'll talk about uh, conditional probability as it will help us later with um, other interesting graphical models such as Bayesian networks. Um, conditional probability. I'm going to talk about what's called the joint distribution first, but we'll we'll talk about other topics as well. But let's let's suppose we have a bag with four balls. Three are red and one is blue, right? So there's three red balls and one blue ball. The event of drawing a ball is called B. So B1 is the first time we draw a ball and B2 will be the second one we draw a ball. So what is the probability that on the first draw we obtain a red ball? Here it is. Think about it. Now what's the probability that on the first attempt we obtain a blue ball? Well, so the probability that we obtain a red, red ball in the first attempt is, is 3 out of 4. The probability that we obtain a blue ball in the first attempt is 1 out of the 4 possibilities, right? Now let's consider the second attempt. So we established the probability that the first attempt the ball is raised 3 4, 3 fourths, and the probability that the first attempt the, the ball is blue is 1 fourth. Now, now we're going to talk a little bit about conditional probability. So what is the probability that, uh, oh, these numbers should be changed. This should be 2 and this should be 1. But what is the probability that the second attempt uh, we obtain a red ball, given that in the first attempt we obtained a blue ball? What's the probability that in the, um, that in the second attempt we obtained a red ball given that the first attempt we, attempt we obtained a blue ball and so on and so forth. So what is the, the probability that in the subsequent attempts we obtain, um, we obtain the, the, the balls that we want? All right, so in order to answer that, okay, we have to see how many, how many balls are then uh, remaining, okay? so. Let's let's look at exactly that. Well, if on the first attempt I have a uh, I picked a red ball. I just fixed it. Oops. B one that should be not be two B three but be two B one. Sorry, I'm fixing this as I go. All right. So what is the probability of the second attempt? I obtain a red or a blue ball given what happened in the first attempt. So, if in the first attempt I obtained a red ball, then there's three other balls left. What's the probability of obtaining a red ball after that? Well, it's, one over, it's two over three, right? What is the probability, if I picked a red ball in the first attempt, what's the probability of obtaining a blue ball on the second attempt? It's one over three because there's one blue and there's three remaining balls. What's the probability if I obtained a blue ball on the first attempt, I have three reds left. So what is the probability of obtaining a red ball on the, on the second attempt, given that in the first attempt I obtained a blue ball? So it would be one. I'm always going to get a red ball. So in a table, this is, this is seen as what is the probability that in the first run I obtained a blue ball, what is the probability that the second time I draw I will obtain a red ball? This should be a 1 because there's only red balls. If I pick a red ball, for example, a red ball here, what is the probability that the first time I picked a red ball and the second time I pick a blue ball? That would be 1 over 3rd, right? So we'll see how this works. And in fact, these this will be the numbers, right? The probability that I obtained a red uh, a red ball after having drawn a red ball in the first place is two thirds. A blue ball, if I drew a red ball, is one third. If I the first draw it is a blue ball, and the second draw, it's going to be a red ball. There is no other probability, and it will never be a blue ball because we ran out of blue balls. So this is the conditional probabilities. What happens in the second attempt given what happened in the first attempt? So suppose we have uh, our bag with three balls. Now we have the conditional probabilities. Now there's the joint probability. What is the probability that event one happens and event two happens? So what's the probability of 
on the first round taking a red ball and the second round taking a red ball again. Okay, now it's not condition, it's both things happening. Okay, and you obtain that, for example, uh, just, by, just by multiplying the probability of the first event happening times the probability of the second event happening. So for example, what's the probability that, that um, I, I first draw a blue ball and then a red ball? Well, if the first draw is a blue ball, that's one-fourth. And the second event, getting a red ball, given that uh, I first got a blue ball, that probability is one. So the probability of getting the first try a blue ball and the second try a red ball is one-fourth. It's basically the probability of getting a, a, a blue ball in the first place because the second try I'm always going to get a blue ball. Now, what is the probability, for example, of getting a red ball on the first attempt and a blue ball on the second attempt? Well, so the probability of getting a red ball on the first attempt is three-fourths. And given that I got a red ball, the probability of getting a blue ball on the second attempt is one-third. Therefore, one-third times three-fourths is one-fourth. So the probability of getting a red ball in the first attempt and a blue ball in the second attempt is one-fourth. Okay, and this, is, this, this illustrates three important differences. The probability of an event happening, the probability of an event conditioning, conditioned on another one, and then the probability of a series of events happening together. Okay?